What the hell? I'm able to use a telescope? Wait, hold on. Okay, guys, I guess you're able to use the telescope, but all I see is that lady who looks like she should pull her shirt up. Hey guys, my name is Gemsolex and welcome back to more Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. Last time we caught the murderer or the suspect for murder and we were talking to him and we found out some very important information. And now we're going to try and see if we can find out more about his father because his father is a possible suspect as well. So we have to find out what happened to his father. So let's see. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Okay, I'm just going to look at my information here and see. Okay, guys, we are back at, what's this? I think it's called Woodman Lee, this place. Uh, yes. Now, I just want to do a little bit of investigating because I have a feeling I could find out some more information. Now, let's go back in here. The body should be gone, right? No, it's still there. Hmm. The weapon fully All right. Interesting. Well, I want to go talk to the wife. Anyways, let's go talk to the wife as she may have some answers that we can have answered. I think. Meh. <laughs> Alright, I need some information. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There is a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. Thank you, madam. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, but it's not in there though. Is that it? Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. I mean, it seems like your husband was an alcoholic, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and take a look. Let's go back in the shed and see if we could find out anything. Okay, so we know it's right here. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. A box or a small chest, perhaps. Oh, okay, so I'm able to use LB to get a look at stuff that should be. But yeah, there was supposed to be a box there, but it's not there anymore, so where is it now? What the hell? I'm able to use a telescope? Wait, hold on. Okay, guys, I guess you're able to use a telescope, but... All I see is that lady who looks like she should pull her shirt up. Eighteen eighty-three. That's the one I need. Oh, did I finally this figure it is out? The crew list of the Jeez, I was wandering around forever. All right, so Peter Carey, master, first mate, Henry, second mate. I'm sorry, guys. I was getting so tired. I was like, oh my god, I can't find the answers I'm looking for. All right. This is the crew list of the sea unicorn all right can log we notes for june nothing unusual log notes for july nothing special log notes for august these pages have been torn away ah all right log notes for o canadian pacific railway cpr a torn piece from a bond certificate I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. Okay. So we finally got answers after me wandering around about to fall asleep while looking. <laughs> okay, so a piece of stock exchange. Let's find the C2. Okay, so what do we do with it? Okay, what's this? Task for the Wiggins, the ship's logs, the sea unicorn for 1883. The book is a list of sailors at the beginning. The page for August 1883 has been torn out. Can we go to a new place? No. All right, well, let's go back to uh, our archive and examine that stuff. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. 
And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Okay, so we just talked to Watson about what our plan is. Watson, I need Wiggins. Is he anywhere nearby? He's right across the street. You can give him a sign from the window. Alright, let's go ahead and give him a sign. And by doing that, we're going to look at a, 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 a woman. Um, oh, there he is. Let's go ahead and give him a call. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. Okay, so we have a little kid helping us out now. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. Alright, so a lot of stuff is going on, so we have to go find the crew. Uh, me, inspector. Okay, so we have to go to the Scotland Yard once again. So, yeah, let's go there right now. I think I'm just going to go there, talk to them, and see what's going on, and then end the episode off here, because I was wandering around trying to find answers. This game really isn't going to hold my hand. I have to find out for myself. So, you know, it's a lot of fun. So, I'll see you guys at the Cotland Yard. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. As always, what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Pray tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah, oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room, at your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, eh? Mm, breathtaking. Hmm. <laughs> I see. All right. So they want to be better than me, but I am the greatest, so how can they even compare? Oh, look, it's the boots. Oh, Hutland's belongings. Suspect's belongings. All right. We got another suspect. Fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. All right, what's that? Again, nothing unusual about it. All right, and then what about these? Liam Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. Oh. Uh, These are the suspect. What's this? Okay. I think we're getting closer to solving this murder, guys. Um. Anyways, let's go talk to the guy and see how he's doing. So let's go do that really quickly. Where is he? Oh, I can go in here. Finally. Who's this guy? Oh, it's you. How is the investigation going, Mr. Holmes? Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet? I kind of do. I kind of do. So he's in here now? What? There's no one in here. What did he do with the other kid? Oh, he's right here. All right, mister. I want answers. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. 
I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are, and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Well, we shall see. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's do an examination of this guy. Alright, starting from the top. Alright, um... It's gonna be harder to do these, isn't it? Um, can I find any? Oh my god. Oh, a scar. That's something to look at. Handkerchief with credit. Oh, oh, we're getting closer, guys. I can feel it. Ooh. The plant remains. Ooh. Where's the last one? There it is. Hmm, 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 hmm. Answer my questions, sir. I have some questions That's for awesome you. Now. Yeah, I. All right, guys, we're getting closer to solving who the solve or solving, finding out who the murderer is, <laughs> and I think it's this guy. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and next time, let's play Sherlock Holmes: Crimes and Punishments. We will talk to this guy more. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to become a gem, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Scars. What? Why did that? Why did it make that sound effect? That like scared me. Did I find out something? I will see you soon, young.